Okay. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Chen Li. I'm a, a postdoc from MIT. Uh, just now, Professor Henner has shared uh, some very insightful uh, thoughts about uh, um, the potentials and the challenges in exploiting, computationally exploiting the rich semantic information extracted from, from text. And uh, I'm going to focus on another specific problem before interlinking these semantic concepts and uh, doing uh, semantic uh, inferences. So, I, uh, so it's more about how to link the information extracted from text with uh, semantic resources. Uh, simply speaking, uh, it's about uh, we try to line the bio events in bio NLP tasks, in bio NLP corporal, uh, with uh, uh, the biological standards and the ontologies. So this alignment can annotate the extracted relations with the curated reactions in the database. Uh, this also can be used for incorporating the information from existing corpora for future applications of automatically annotating biological re reactions or networks. This could be tremendously useful. Uh, for example, um, in PathGuide, there are 547 resources. Uh, PathGuide is a list of all pathway resources. And actually, in the data volume in each of the resources are actually increasing very fast as well. Uh, let's pick a Baumos database as an example. It is a database for storing biological networks encoded in quantitative models. We can find the number of the models increased exponentially, but actually still a large portion of the models and a large portion of the reactions in those models remain unannotated. So uh, using this information from text to semantically enrich the uh, reactions in the curated database, it's like a, this annotation actually is the information goes from uh, extracted uh, relations in the unstructured text to the structured, uh, to the biological reactions in the structured database. And, uh, but if we use, uh, this also could be useful for uh, using the uh, curated knowledge from structured database to assist the uh, relation extraction methods from um, uh, unstructured text. This is actually, in this way, the information goes another way around. It also could be used for, for uh, future applications like event uh, normalizations and uh, event uh, interconnections. So um, our, per, our work has uh, two parts. Um, the first part is to align these bio-events in bio-NLP with biological uh, standards. Uh, specifically speaking, we are aligning uh, the bio-events with uh, uh, SBML, which is called, which is the uh, Systems Biology Markup Language. Um, it's a, a standardized format for encoding reaction networks. And OTA has done a lot of work comparing the uh, event types in bio-NLP tasks with uh, uh, those event types supported by cell designer. And she found uh, uh, some missing event types, and she added those uh, event types into uh, a later bio NLP task, which is called a pathway curation. And, but uh, my work is more focusing on structural discrepancies uh, between the bio event structure and uh, uh, the biological standard, um, the SBML. Uh, because uh, this discrimination uh, has uh, caused uh, some uh, information loss. For example, in the first uh, in the sentence A, the addition of U zero one two six to the cultures abrogated the production of IL ten. We have a gene expression event, uh, which is a theme of neg negative regulation, and in the sentence B, the defect in IKK recruitment. Uh, due specifically to the absence of HOIP expression it also has a, another gene expression event, which also is a theme of another uh, negative regulation. The, but this, uh, the roles of these two gene expression events are very different. In the first sentence, the gene expression event is passively 
uh, regulated. Uh, when the, uh, in the second sentence, uh, the gene expression is actually regulating another event described in the sentence. So uh, the current BioLMP format, in the, uh, in the current BioLMP format, we lost the, this uh, directionality information. So uh, what we doing now, we try to uh, uh, annotate the reactions in the in the BioLMP uh, corpus with the uh, distinguished reactants, modifiers, and uh, products. For example, in the sentence PIGS and PIGT from a protein complex with the GAA1 and the GPIS, and that PIG something, something, something. There are, in this sentence, there are two events. Uh, besides the upstream binding event, there is also another gene expression uh, event at the downstream. So, um, we are annotating the reactions in com compliance with the structure, and we plan to experiment uh, uh, with uh, discourse analysis and the corrections and the technologies to try to link the interconnected events and link those events. Uh, these are some e uh, examples for the uh, different types of bioevents uh, we picked from a bio uh, uh, genia corpus. And uh, these examples can be found uh, in that uh, position paper. So I won't spend uh, too much time on explaining this. Uh, but if you have any questions, you can shoot now, or you can email me afterwards. Uh, either way is fine. So, um, the, the second part of the work is to align the bioevents with the biological ontologies. So because we have compared the structures, now we are trying to go into a higher information granularity. We try to link the events with the, the biological uh, ontologies. Uh, as we discussed before, there is this broken link between the extracted uh, relations from the unstructured text with the curated uh, relations in the structured databases. So uh, specifically, we picked uh, a gene ontology, which is a representation of uh, protein gene uh, attributes, activities, and relations. And uh, we also, uh, at the moment, we also use the systems of biology ontology, which is a set of controlled relational vocabularies standardizing the description of biomedical reactions or networks. And uh, um, the original genial task was also defined according to genial ontology. Although in the um, last uh, few years, uh, with uh, several tasks, this uh, definition might shift a little bit, but it's still reasonable to start with the genial ontology. And um, also, OTA has done a lot of work to link uh, uh, the uh, GO and SBO in the pathway curation tasks at the even the type level. So we are, at the moment, we are linking the, uh, the even types, all the even types in BioRP corpus with uh, uh, the ontologies. And at the same time, uh, like I explained, explained before, we try to link it in a higher granular, information granularity. We link the linguistic <coughs> Semantic rows with uh, uh, semantic rows as well. For example, link the theme, cause with uh, protein or gene or reaction participants, etc. But uh, before doing that, we set up a set of rules how we link the uh, bio event elements with those ontologies. Uh, for example, um, uh, the first rule is we only use uh, information from the documentation. We don't use any information from corpus. Because what we, what we try to do as the first step is we try to be able to automatically link uh, the existing textual annotations with the ontologies rather than directly, directly annotating the text with the ontology. So, uh, for example, uh, uh, for the binding event in BioLRP, uh, we annotated it with uh, uh, GO5488 because uh, uh, in BioLRP, binding event is defined only upon the binding activities of protein. And the uh, gene ontology is all about the protein genes as well. So that's why we uh, annotated the binding with this uh, GO5488. And, but we don't go more spe specific than that. For example, like a camodulin binding and insulin binding, we don't do that because uh, um, 
basically uh, that will require further information from corpus, and you will end up with uh, duplicating a uh, gene ontology. And the second principle is uh, uh, we try to annotate as specific as possible based on the information available from the documentation. So, for example, uh, especially we use uh, uh, ontological classes from a molecular function rather than we try to use them those from a molecular function rather than uh, biological processes. And uh, we also try to annotate the, uh, those entities at, uh, at the molecular level, but for example, like organelle, it wouldn't be very useful annotation. And um, so I annotated, uh, for example, for binding, I annotated those with uh, uh, G ontology and uh, SBO terms and uh, use uh, uh, Baumann's.net qualifiers to t specify the nature of the relationships. And the embodiment of the annotations uh, uh, encoded in RDF in combination with the uh, Baumodos Donut qualifier and the Dublin core. So, to sum up, uh, what we try to do is uh, um, we try to, al uh, try to align the bio events in bio NLP with uh, the biological standards and ontologies. So this is quite uh, useful. We believe that it's very useful for future automated uh, annotations and other applications like event normalization and event interconnections. And uh, so specifically, we are annotating the corpus and uh, also we link uh, the bio-events with the ontologies. Okay, so I would like to thank Nigel for the constant support and uh, keep sharing his knowledge. And I uh, thank uh, Tomoko for her, uh, the discussions with her and also the documentations, information she kindly shared. And uh, also Jin Dong, he shared a lot of information about the uh, NLP and also thank him for organizing this wonderful event and also caring. It was a short discussion, but it was very inspiring for me. And uh, I hope we can have more discussions in the future. And um, thank all the attendants as well. I mean, it's really great to meet the cool people behind those great works. And um, I'm really excited. Okay, thank you.